Well, with the updated the structure chart in the previous lesson, let's now see what we have to do with the structured English. Obviously, there's a lot more things happening here now, so I have to update this to show it happening. So, work out, work out, work out. We had those already. There's a new one about pensions. So, what you do is you locate where that happened. This will really affect our numbering as well. So, work out where that happened. So, it's work out net pay. Um, work out pension contribution. All these different things. Do you know what? Yeah. I've just realised, and it looks terrible now that I've realised, but I've realised that I've placed something in the wrong order in the structure chart. And these things can happen when you're doing designs. Um, I've not done it on purpose to show this, but this is what happens. I've said work out net pay here, but then I work out contributions for pension. The only way you can work out net pay is after all the, all the deductions have happened. These two have to happen before this, and that was my mistake. So what I'll do is I'll do some dragging along, just over a little bit. Obviously, I've joined these uh, boxes all together, and that would be the better order there. Because you work out all these things and then take them away to work out the net pay. That was my mistake, but I've spotted it. And that's what programming is all about in software de development. You do see mistakes as you do it and you fix it. So, there we go. I've saved myself from a big mistake. Um, so, I'm now on here. Work out the tax. That would be number five. And now it says the rest. Work out her pension contribution. There you go. Then it's number six after that. And what I'll do is I'll grab the text today again to make it easier on myself. Then I'll be number seven. And that is uh, that one there. We have that one in there. Oh, don't have to do that one again, do we? It's already there. The next one will be number eight. And these other workouts, lots of things to be added in. We realised that earlier on when we were doing the structure chart. Another one in there, oh. and then number 10, and that'll be show, so we know show net pays in there, all these different things are there, let's see what else we've added in, show net pay, show national insurance, show tax, ah look, do you see it, more things are missing, amazing, this is actually quite a good lesson, um, here we work things out, but we never actually show them, we don't show the yearly amounts, so what we'll do is, I'll grab one of those, put it over there, Right, and instead of work out, we'll say show. There. Yeah. And the next one, same sort of thing. I want to see these answers. I want to know the answers. In fact, it's not me who wants to know the answers. It's uh, Miss Taxon. She wants to know the answers. So it's show. There. Yeah. And again, we're back to this. And we're doing these little lines again. Adding these things in, these connections. And that's the sort of order that could happen. In. So I've actually found... A couple of mistakes so far, but that's good. That means I'm identifying my process and realizing the mistakes and going back to fix them. So work out, work out, done two of those. Then after that was all these different things to do with show. And there's the last two at the end. So I'll grab the text there. There's one. And since I put it at the end, it makes sense to put it at the end. So there's 11. There's 12. So this will be 13. Show that one, and then 14 will be the last box, all the way to the right again. Grab that from there, put that in here, and there you go. So, if I haven't made any more mistakes, that should be the updated uh, structured English.